remember I told you when we were doing discrete time models and talking about gains and losses process that we are going to need to represent in continuous time those gains and losses as a stochastic integral. S and that's what we are going to do now. We are going to develop uh, integration with respect to the Brownian motion process. Okay, move to the next slide. A little bit of motivation first. If you know about ordinary differential equations, this is going to help as motivation. If you don't, then I will tell you now. In uh, deterministic processes, systems that move in time, you typically model them as solution to ordinary differential equations. And it would be something like this. It would be, a, let's think of x as a deterministic thing that evolves in time and uh, maybe it evolves in time by by uh, as a solution to uh, this first order ordinary differential equation or an ODE where the derivative of x with respect to t is some function let's call it mu of t and x of t that's an ordinary differential equation what we want to do here is we want to model a random system, a uh, random process, and we want to add a Brownian motion a random components to this ordinary differential equation. That's the idea. The problem is, as we mentioned in the last set of slides, Brownian motion does not have a derivative with respect to time. It's not differentiable. So it's not going to be quite like this. We somehow have to build uh, this model differently. And f as a step to that goal, let's start by formally multiplying, moving this dt to the other side, kind of, kind of uh, multiplying by dt, moving it to the other side. A and then you can write this as this. It's just a way to write it. OK, just to, to avoid kind of differentiation, just intuitively it means change in x is a function mu of current time and current state value times the change in time. That's what it means. And now we add to it a random component. We add some other function of state and time, sigma of t and x of t, and we add a change in the Brownian motion here, dw of t. Infinitesimal change, d means really small, and that's called a stochastic differential equation, an SDE. We don't really know what this means right now. I just kind of did some informal thing by moving this dt here, adding a random term. It's not quite clear what this means. In particular, we still have a problem that we don't know what this dw means if w doesn't have a derivative with respect to time. But we are not going to take a derivative with respect to time of w. Instead, we are going to think of this notation here as actually meaning this. It means it's integrating form. If you think of integrating here, then integral kills the derivative. It's x of t is equal to the initial condition, x of 0, plus integral of this from 0 to t, mu of s, x of s, ds, plus integral of this from 0 to t, sigma of s, x of s, dw of s. Okay? That's and this we will be able to give a meaning to that the even though the derivative with respect to time of the Brownian motion doesn't exist, we can integrate against Brownian motion uh, across time. Okay? We will be able to define this integral here that's called the stochastic integral. This will be a regular Riemann integral from you know, standard calculus, but this we will have to define slightly differently because of the fact that the derivative of the Brownian motion of Brownian motion doesn't exist. Okay? This is what we want to do. We want to give a sense to stochastic differential equations because they are very useful for modeling random things that evolve in time, for modeling stochastic processes. So let's see how that works. I will tell you briefly the main idea behind the construction not really that we need it but for those of you who are curious the same way you know engineers use uh, 
uh, Riemann integral, standard integral, without having to remember how exactly uh, the integral is constructed. Uh, financial engineers don't really have to know how the stochastic integral is constructed, but uh, it's useful to, to see it at least once. It's called a Ito integral or stochastic integral. Ito, Ito developed this theory in 1940s. Uh, let's look at the, the, this last line here first. So this is what we want to define. We want to define something called i of t, that's just notation. We want to define integral 0 to t of y of s dw of s for y being uh, maybe a random process. So think of y as a number of shares that may change with time and may change randomly with time. I'm going to adjust my shares as the stock prices and other things move randomly around. So my adjustment, y of s, is going to be random. And this is change. If you think of w as the stock price, it's not quite going to be the stock price because the stock price is going to be something like exponential of w of exponential branding motion. But for the purposes of this slide and intuition, think of w as a stock price. So this would be your gains process, pr uh, your profits and losses by keeping, holding y of s shares at time s and then the, the money you make is y of s times the change in price, dws. Okay. So we want to give a sense to this. We want to define this, how to construct this in, in continuous time. We are going to put a couple of assumptions on, on y. Uh, one assumption it says adapted here. It says uh, the process y is adapted to the information given by w. There is a mathematical definition of this, but intuitively what it means, and that's enough for us here, adapted means it's a process which by time t, y of t, only depends on the history of Brownian motion up to time t and not on the future value, values of Brownian motion. In other words, y does not, cannot look into the future. Or if you want, uh, there is no insider trading. Okay? We are not dealing with an is insider trader who, who already knows the information that nobody else knows and then looks into the future uh, with from the future of the brain emotion if you want. Okay, so adapted simply means it, it, it uh, values of y up to time t depend on only on the history of brain emotion or let's say stock prices up to time t. And then there is a, another condition. We are going to see why this condition is important. It's a condition kind of on, on squared moments. Expected value of integral of y squared u du, this is a standard integral, is finite. Okay? I if you, if you uh, move, in principle, you could move this expectation inside. So it means that the integral of squared moments e y squared of u du is finite. And this, you add all the squared moments across time. Okay, so let's assume that. So for processes like this, first we do kind of a discretized version of the integral. We split the 0 to t interval. We split it into subintervals so of size delta t, ti, ti plus 1. And this is, uh, we, we saw something like this already in, uh, as a gains or and, uh, process in discrete time. You just, you know, number of shares at time ti times the difference in price, if you want, wti plus 1 minus wti, and then you add overall times. Call this in if uh, n is the number of subintervals into which we split our interval 0 to t. Fine. That's... Uh, I n and and this is a natural. This is a nat this is the same definition that is used to construct Riemann integrals. So it's a, it's a natural way to define an integral in a discretized way. Well, what Ito did, he showed when you take the limit when delta t goes to zero, meaning n goes to infinity, that the limit exists in this sense. The limit. It's a limit of, of random variables, so it's not a classical limit. It's a limit, so-called L2 limit. Uh, he showed that there exists a random variable i of t, such that when you look at the difference i n of t minus i of t, you square it and you take expected value, 
that goes to zero. Okay? So it was showed uh, the, that an existence theorem that exists a random variable, which is in this sense the limit of these random variables. This is called an L2 limit. And then it's natural to call this limit the stochastic integral. Uh, now it's also called Eto, Eto's integral. Okay, that's the limit of these things exist. It's like a Gaines process, and we are going to denote it like this. And we are going to call it stochastic integral. 